Doyle quality. So, I was like, this is the only fucking thing holding this little thing on, a hardened pin. I'm like, isn't this going to break? Because, take a look. That's going to fall. So, you know, when it's loose, you know, it moves. So I'm like, when I'm, when I tighten something down on here, I don't know how the hell I'm going to do this with two hands. Apparently. That's as far as they got. When you tighten this down, it locks the whole thing. The pin, you can't move it. it, it, it won't, it's, it's on. And then when you loosen it, you know, you have, it doesn't matter how much you loosen it, but now you really need two hands to do this. Now, you know, it's got detents. I mean, you could put it anywhere you want. I mean, you could put it in between something and then tighten it down. And then once it's tight, that's it. But obviously the, the selling point was, the, you know, that I got pipe jaws that now obviously kind of In case I need to weld something up. Oops. This thing is like, it may help if I freaking get nice. Look at that. Wow, that's, I ain't going nowhere. And then, you got 360. Yeah, so more than that. Yeah, it's got like a detent, but it'll do full 360 when you do loosen it up enough. And then, you know, it's not like quick. There you go. It's got like detents in there, unfortunately. So you really got to loosen these to get it to move on both sides. I don't know if I'm going the right way or not. Yeah, you really got to loosen it, but it'll do 360. But, I mean, I like that because let's say you just want to set it and forget it. You know, you're not relying on these screws ever coming loose. I mean, that look how much I'm just lightly putting pressure on them. And this thing, they're not even, they're not even that tight. You know, and that means, you know, you never have to worry about this thing. Once you get it in position, you know, it's always fucking there. I mean, but obviously you can't move this once this is tight. Yeah, once you tighten down on something, you know, you got to untighten it. Tape, you know, obviously. And then you can swivel it. But dude, the quality. Dude, I can't even. I mean, that you can rotate it, but obviously once you tighten it dude it's that's it it's on there and i i got this one and i really liked it the fucking quality on this is amazing i mean it's great this is and it has a little bit more weeble wobble because it's a square real what does this one do so when you pull that one all the way out it doesn't fall out what does this one do before it falls on the floor this one, I think, comes out farther, but, yeah, I think it does, because I, but I wanted to see, is this thing going to just fall on the floor? It's going to, holy Jesus, man, what the hell are we clamping here? But, yeah, it's going to, is this going to fall out? Yeah, I, this is going to, this is going to fall out. Whereas this other one doesn't have a deeper thing, but uh, 
that's it. And that's, you know, it was fucking rock hard. So, I mean, maybe that's what they mean by five inch. Uh, I, but, you know, look how much, that's a lot. But, you lose all your strength when you gotta have one that fucking long. They would have to look at the quality. I just, this is plenty big enough for what I'm doing. I just love how, when I felt that this was round and that, you know, it just doesn't, I was just sold. So, and these don't, this doesn't come off. These are just rubber stoppers. I mean, how much, yeah, I don't know what you're going to be clamping something like that. I don't know what the hell you're going to be clamping your leg to the fucking table. But, so, they said I can take this back. This was brand new. $77.99. Even though I clamped it down. They said I can bring it back because it was brand new. And if it's open box like that one. It was a floor model. They took 20% off. Um, whatchamacallit and you get five days you get less when you um, take this the other way. I like all the detents and I like that it's not fucking relying on this pin so as long as you don't fucking start beating something and you hit this pin even if you did snap this off, it's still going to lock. But still, as long as you're, um, I, I don't know, I really, no jaws in here. But like I said, it's got the jaws down here. So it's got a dedicated set of jaws on the other side. And obviously, this is, I don't know if this is any, I don't think it's any deeper. I don't have a tape measure. Uh, here. The depth of the... I'm going to cut my finger. So I don't have enough hands. There we go. Two and a half. Well, you... Well, here's the deal. So this one... At, at first, you got three inch. So you do have another half inch. And then when you go down here, you got another... You got three and a half until it hits this. And then this overhangs. So how much overhang until, you know, you got about one and a half inch. I mean, basically the same. So I think this is where they say six inch. Yeah, six inch. And this should be five. Yep. So, and I should be able to, you know, pick this thing up. In redneck style break this thing just like this when I need to use it because I don't have a dedicated stand there you go one day I'm going to fucking tighten this down so tight it's going to fucking crack there you go the, the most expensive fucking bench stand holder for that so got to get the fucking guards no idea what the hell they are but that's pretty cool. I mean, I could fucking have it mounted like this and turn the fucking grinder like that. <laughs> Just to get a fucking different angle. That's nuts. That's fucking nuts. As long as you can fucking hold it. <laughs> so, while you're doing it. <laughs>